Hey everybody, I'm Chad Henderson, head brewer and co-owner at Noda Brewing Company. I'm Matt from Asplow. I'm Wes, the brewer at Asplow. We're here doing a fun collaboration together, uh, celebrating our shared love for IPAs and kind of taking it in a slightly different direction. Uh, our collaboration's called, named about a whole two and a half minutes ago, uh, Directionally Challenged. The beer basically is taking inspiration from uh, the New England style IPAs, but doing it with what we kind of consider a southeastern twist. Uh, even though it would be very hot forward, we're hoping that it will be a, a little bit lower than about 5.5% alcohol to kind of deal with our, our, our mid-summer uh, heat that we have around here to be appropriate for the, the southeast weather. We're using a, a southern staple grain uh, using corn or grits, so doing flaked corn in it as well. Yeah, this is Matt over at Asclown Brewing uh, in Cornelius. Asclown's been open since 2011, uh, six years to the public and brewed about a good six to seven years out of my garage before that. Never brewed with uh, flake corn before, so we're looking forward to it. I feel like it'll add a nice fluffy feel, light feel to the beer. I'm super excited about this, um, this play on a New England style, throwing our, our humor into it, calling it a Southeastern style with, uh, with corn. The, the hop blend that we're putting in there, uh, Mosaic, Simcoe, Eldorado, and Eureka, should be great for what we're trying to get out of this beer. We at Node have never actually used Eureka and Eldorado in any production batch, uh, so, it's a, so it's kind of a new experience with us. But we've always kind of had a soft spot in our heart for the, for the hops, and we know that Ass Clown has been doing a whole lot of fun stuff uh, with a large variety of IPAs uh, you can see all throughout the market. Doing a collab together has been in the making for probably about a year now. Um, Chad came up with the idea of doing this beer and then we kind of all threw our two cents in. And we started by doing that by kind of crossing out the idea of lots of flaked oats, wheat and things like that that have typically been used really heavily in New England IPAs uh, to give it excessive body and, and, uh, and fluffiness and, and, and you know that, that kind of thick uh, mouthfeel and it replaced it with sort of a southern staple uh, uh, food which is of course grits or flaked corn. Uh, the hops that we're using on it are some of our favorites, uh, being a heavy co uh, combination of Simcoe and Mosaic hops, which is just a, a classic uh, modern Americana uh, hop payload. And to accent them, we're using a really fun hop that gives a lot of tropical notes to it, which is El Dorado, and then another very fruit forward hop called Eureka. And we're adding those guys in the Whirlpool. We have over a pound per barrel of hops going into the Whirlpool on this beer. And while the beer is still fermenting, uh, we are gonna dry hop it at over three and a half pounds per barrel with that same combination of hops and then do it again after the beer is done uh, conditioning at, uh, at two pounds per barrel. So this beer has almost got six pound per, pounds per barrel just in the dry hop and over seven pounds per barrel total used in the batch. So it's gonna be a very hot forward beer, but hopefully very nice and clean and crisp beer. So we're very excited to be working here with our friends up at Ash Clown. Be on the lookout for it when it comes to stores and and uh, taps near you. Consider yourself notified. What's going to be your favorite part about this collab? Getting to drink the beer when it's all said and done. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs>